Even the president of Nigeria is not proud of that country. I've never seen a single Nigerian lady in this country. How did you meet your husband? Um, <laughs> so hello guys welcome back to my channel once again and today i'm so happy because i'm doing something that i've never done before on this channel and that is a q a and a get ready with me double combo okay it's so special a couple of weeks ago i asked you guys to ask me questions because i want to film a q a and boy oh boy you guys really came through like i got a lot of questions thank you guys so much for always engaging on my post okay unfortunately i'll be answering all of those questions because you know there are a lot i can't answer all of them in one sitting okay but i have picked a couple of questions like 30 of them i'll be answering 20 personal questions and then 10 random questions about south africa and opinions about other things so this is how it's going to be today. I have a mirror here and you know I'll be switching between looking at the mirror and also looking at the camera. So that's how it works. Um anyway, let's just get started, right? So I have the questions on my phone and I'll be answering them. First question: How old are you? I am 25, going on 26. My birthday is 29 June 1996, so I'll be 26 in two months' time. So the third question, where do you live in South Africa, city and province? So I live in Midrand, Houghton province. So if you're in Midrand and you would love to connect with me, call me. This invitation is exclusive only to my ladies, okay? Is here. Oh my god, I <laughs> fruit my eyebrows. I've ruined my brows guys um i don't think i can talk while concealing these eyebrows so you guys have to wait let me get this done all right sharp sharp so we're back with better brows and let's continue from where we stop the fourth question how many languages can you speak besides english so aside english i can speak Igbo, which is my native language um Yotago. As I did Bumbu now, we must represent. I can also speak French, like I'm like 40% fluent in French. I started learning French from my grade school till my high school, and also I did a couple of French classes some while ago. Although my French is gonna rust right now because of the law of use and disuse, you know. But je parle le français, okay? I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm also a little bit fluent in Korean language. You know, I watch a lot of K dramas and I pick a little bit of the language while I was watching it, okay? So I can actually like introduce myself and speak the basic Korean and I understand this a little bit. Anyaseyo, Shawaraniya, Bangawa, Otoke. Anya, Kamsanwida. Do you know any South African language? No, I don't. Shame. But um, I know I'm going to pick up on that if I stay here for longer. Because I'm a language into that. I love learning new languages. So if I stay here for long, I'm sure I'm going to pick up and know at least one of the languages. How long have you been married? Plus how many kids? Um, I have a daughter and I've been married for... Um, <laughs> let's count it together. I got married in 2019. So 2020, 2021, 2020. So, three years this is my third year in marriage okay and fun fact i actually did my white wedding in south africa i did my trial in nigeria and did my white wedding here in south africa and both weddings were like all over the years no cap no fugazi <laughs> any plans for more baby on my facebook and on my instagram these were like the top questions and i don't really know the reason for the curiosity honestly but the answer is yes i definitely want to have more kids there are plans to have more kids what made you to relocate to south africa I also got this kind of question on IG as well. What made you to relocate to Nisanzi? The answer is marriage. I got married and I had to move down here to join my husband. Next question, how did you meet your husband? Um, <laughs> actually, we met on Facebook. Seriously, he sent me a DM on my messenger and you know, we got talking and from there we met and we dated and then we got married. So. This is a message to you. Make sure you check your DMs, all right? Because it goes down in the DM. It goes down in the DM. Next <laughs> question. This is more like a request. Can you please include your husband in your video? Like a relationship blog kind of thing. The thing is that this is really not the reason why I created this channel. Okay? This was not the intention of starting this channel in the first place. 
and also things like sitting down to do couple tag and relationship advice kind of stuff is something i think my husband would never ever want to do in his life like he won't be caught then doing that right? i don't think this is ever going to happen on this channel like at all it's not going to be happening on this channel so perish that idea sarah sarah perish that idea don't mind me the person that asks this question is such a popular romantic she's um, I think you will feature on this channel at some point, but it's never ever going to be about relationship or relationship advice. I've noticed that all Nigerian ladies that come to South Africa are married. Where are the beautiful sisters like you? How come we don't see them here? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I'm using this platform to ask this question as well and what he says is actually true i've never seen a single nigerian lady in this country like the only people i see are married people i've not seen someone that is single so this question is actually valid so this question is for you nigerian sisters why is it that you guys don't come to south africa tell us tell us on the comment section i would really love to know as well why you guys don't fancy coming to south africa oh my god i i i i really suck at on the vaccine okay <laughs> So the next question what would you say to any of your girlfriend coming to south africa <laughs> this is what we're talking about now i'll tell them to come please come we really want you we need you you are scarce commodity in this country please come <laughs> how do you stay positive during challenging times well i've lived enough to know that there is nothing straight about this life that is this life is not linear there's always going to be up and down so when i'm down i know it's just a phase i'm going to go up very soon okay it's just a matter of time and i'm going to go up so this part actually keeps me going and then i also have god with me and knowing that i have god it gives me enough confidence because i know that i'm going to overcome at the end of the day so i stay prayed up anytime i'm going through any difficult or challenging time in my life are you a believer of christ i'm born again yes i am i was born and raised a christian but it was not up until like a few years back that I got to know God for myself. Like I tasted and tested this world. Two things: tested and tasted of the greatness of God. You know, I found out that God is real and He's He's so great. So that made me really take God seriously. I took my journey with Him very seriously, and it also strengthened my relationship with Him. So yes, I'm a believer. I totally believe in God. I'm a born again Christian. Would you date a South African guy? <laughs> I don't think you are informed, but. I am married, right? So I don't know about this in South Africa, but if I'm not married, maybe or maybe not, but I guess we we'll never know, right? Because I'm married. <laughs> There's no ring here, but you know, you understand the point. What's the secret to your glow? It's God, it's God, baby. Okay, that's the secret. That's the only secret we have here. Next question: What's the most pain you felt that wasn't physical? Um, I think that would be when I lost one of my uncle. It was such a sudden death, and it's it's got to me. I felt so much pain at that point. I know you're waiting for me to say breakfast, but I'm sorry. I never tried breakfast for this life before ever. I watch your breakfast. <laughs> so the next question, this is not a question. I want to go visit Nigeria next year. So which place would you recommend for me? So um, I recommend you go to Abuja. This karma and the people there are saying, okay? Uh, there are a lot of nice places to go when you go to Abuja. I won't recommend Lagos. That place is full of chaos and some SA people that i know that went to lagos for business purposes all of them came back with complaint like the traffic noise the chaos everything there is crazy so it's really crazy over there so my dear choose peace and go to abuja okay <laughs> so next question what do you do for a living well um right now i'm not working in the country but i decided to take out this year to do this social media thing to try out this youtube team and see how it works for me at the end of the day so this is the cocoa right now this is what i'm into also i'm planning to go back to school so this is what i'm doing <laughs> the run to naira value difference do you always have to calculate how much something costs in naira or are you not used to it 
actually the truth is that i still calculate the difference till date i calculate the naira to run value difference when i'm buying things and that is how i knew that things are kind of cheaper in south africa than in nigeria especially when you're buying groceries and food you know food is relatively cheap here in south africa the price of buying a crate of egg in this south africa when you convert that rent to naira you can use it to buy a crate of egg in nigeria so food and grocery costs in nigeria is like way up the roof the only place where the rent to naira value difference doesn't sit well with my spirit at all is when it comes to house rent and also in school fees if you're living in the suburb your monthly rent in this country when you convert it to naira you can use it to pay for your one year house rent in nigeria like no cap also uh, when it comes to school fees especially for credit hmm. what you pay for one month here in rent when you convert it to naira you can use it to pay for your one year school fees that conversion actually doesn't sit well with my spirit like joke he joke me like this so the next question how is the security system in south africa compared to nigeria the security system in south africa is quite different in the sense that there is a presence of private security companies the adt the cap you know and it is such a huge market estates and houses that want to have added armed security employ their services so, you know it kind of relieves the burden from the police but in nigeria if you want added armed security you have to go and hire policemen that will act as bodyguard or you know that will guard you or guard your house or guard whatever you are doing so this is quite the difference when it comes to the security how are the roads in south africa compared to nigeria actually south africa has one of the best road network system in africa the roads are really really very nice although i heard there are bad roads in some rural areas but i've not gone to any rural area so i can't speak on that so i'm only going to talk about the things i know of um, so for all the places I've gone to, all the places I've been to here in South Africa, I've not seen any bad roads. So how is electricity in South Africa compared to Nigeria? There is 24 hours electricity here in South Africa. Although recently that there have been issues about low shedding. Um, low shedding is where there is scheduled power outage. Like you will be informed beforehand that there's going to be a power outage from so so to so so time. Like, two hours interval or so you know and it happens like once a month or once in two months and you also see that the people are not happy about it like they complain and you know they curse out the government and all of that so it tells you how much they already enjoy this electricity stuff and sometimes i'll just be like if only nigeria can have this kind of power so nigeria i get through every time about not having light and you can't actually compare the two of them and south africa is miles ahead of nigeria when it comes to electricity um next question anyway before the next question let me draw my eyeliner this is serious business i don't have to talk so i hate drawing my eyeliner that is like <laughs> it makes me tear up all the time but i know that my grand family have a lot of help first of all there are a lot of people in this country that also have helpers and they have chairs they have drivers they have cleaners and all of that it's just that it is more rampant in nigeria because a lot of people can afford that a lot of people can actually afford to have helpers in their home and that is because labor is quite cheap in nigeria right it doesn't cost much to have a helper it's not people can actually afford to you know employ people and pay them you know the pay is not so much compared to here in south africa and also in Nigeria, we have this culture where you can actually call your extended relation to come and stay with you and live with you and also help you in, at the same time. You know, I also live with my sister at some point in my life. So most of the time is actually the extended relation that you see, you know, living with them and helping them out. So that is why it looks as though every family has a helper in Nigeria. <laughs> Comparing South Africa to Nigeria, pound for pound, which would you prefer? <laughs> I feel like this is a question to throw my country because I don't know, Nigeria is in the trenches at the moment. Things are not the way it used to be. Even the president of Nigeria is not proud of that country at the moment. So, as much as I want to be patriotic, I'm also going to be honest with you guys. I prefer staying in South Africa to Nigeria. Like, I choose South Africa over and over and over again. That's the honest truth. What do you miss about Nigeria? Hmm. I miss my mom, my dad, my family, my siblings, my friends. 
I also miss the original street food like although there are a lot of Nigerian restaurants in this country but you can't compare it to the original food like to the original Nigerian food the street food the roasted yam the bees and all this stuff you know I miss them so much I miss Nigerian food I miss the original Nigerian food so much because life can be very unpredictable so for now I am here but you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the next two years or in the next three years so I can only answer for now for now I'm in this country we are within full ground we better get there okay transport in South Africa to Nigeria so but honestly the public transport in South Africa is limited in the sense that we have only the taxis the Ubers and then a couple of trains here and there but in Nigeria we have a lot of options we have the Tekena Pep which is a tricycle and then we also have the bike that can even take you to the front of your house that can even take you to your doorstep so, so it's actually very cheap as well I would say the public transport in South Africa is quite limited and the downside of nigeria having a lot of public transport means is that it makes the road so chaotic and there's a lot of traffic and the road is always busy every time because of this much transport means next question are there foreigners in nigeria yes there are a lot of foreigners in nigeria like you have a fair share of the lebanese the indians the white population as well we have a lot of expats in nigeria and most of them like if you go to the niger delta regions they work with the shell they work with the oil company so there are a lot of them in nigeria and then there are also a lot of foreigners from the western african country like from niger from Benin republic you know there are a lot of them they have their spaza shops and they also engage in small businesses in the country so the last question but not the least i saved it for the last because i got this question a couple of times in different variations people ask this question a lot like i got a lot of questions that's why i, I, I saved it for the last <laughs> If given the opportunity or if given the option, would you stay or would you move out of South Africa? And someone also asks, are you going to relocate to abroad? You know, I got this question in different variations. So the answer to this question depends heavily on what the options are, like what's the need for me. From if you're traveling to another country because of a better job, a better pay or better opportunities, of course, we are going to leave ASAP. Like <laughs> we are always going to be where the money resides at, okay? If the offer is a better job, a better opportunity, a better a job with a better pay, then of course we're going to leave. Of course, I want to relocate and move to the country. But if it's just for moving sake, like I just want to move out because I want to go to another country, then no. Because I've actually come to enjoy living in this country. I've come to love it. It is closer to home. People around here actually reminds me of home as well. And the weather of this country is perfect i love it i love the people and i just love the life that i live here so i'm more comfortable staying in this country and you know i'd rather stay here than move to any other country without any offer on the table okay so but if there is a better offer on the table then we are moving <laughs> then of course I'll, I'll want to move okay so guys that will be all that will be all and um, i hope you really enjoyed this video because i did okay i enjoyed filming this video so i hope you really enjoy watching this video so this is what my makeup looks like at the end of the day this is what i do on my face before i come out and say hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm talking about blah 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 blah, blah. so <laughs> although I, I was a bit slow today because i actually suck at multitasking so yes that will be all for now and thank you guys for watching and i really appreciate your support and i hope you enjoyed this easter special if you did please give this video a thumbs up and like this video comment below and uh, thank you guys and uh, i'll see you guys on my next video have a wonderful easter bye bye love peace